What's up guys, Joel Valley from Media Glitch here and we are back with one of America's, uh, <laughs> let's be honest, the world's favorite segment. And that is when we get to see John's junk. John, how are you today? You know, I was, uh, I'm great actually. I was thinking <laughs> that that's, the Sudan is actually really into like the segment specifically. Oh yeah? If you live there, that's the number one That's the number one, that's where like, it's just like every through channel, the roof. Every channel shows it. It's like on right. 24 20, hours. Correct, like, every like, channel. Like that. What's, they don't get. What's that Christmas story? A Christmas movie? story. A Christmas yeah. Story, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it's called? That it is, as a matter of fact. <laughs> a Christmas story. It's like on loop all the time. Correct. John, John's junk. Yeah, just F dash 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 all day. That, that's they love it. Insane. And I've got Dylan the villain yeah. here who tries to like just <laughs> examine John's junk. He's, he, he, he does. He's been checking that all evening trying to guess. So I just really scrutinize, you know, John's junk. <laughs> right. Yeah. To measure the quality. Yeah. yeah you, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, you are like uh you, you're a studier of junk. A junk yes. analyst. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's Not same. just, John's junk. Right. All, all junk. All, all junk in Everyone's junk. Yeah. yeah. Anytime you get junk in front of you, <laughs> any junk you're just all. like, yeah. let me have it. I mean, yep. Let me check it out. <laughs> let me and I'll it. evaluate it. Yep. Right? So we got some junk Correct. that John's brought in Correct. to evaluate today. Yes. So I got the box over here. But, but wait. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. Before oh, we get to before that. Before we get to it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, comment of the week, Dylan the Villain. Take it away. So every week we read you guys' comments, every single one, uh, and I always pick one out for you guys. Uh, and so I just wanted to highlight our comment of the week this week coming to you from Stooge Club. So thank you so much for leaving us a comment. Well, uh, he says, well, you can't either this year. Well, you can't this year either since you said you won't buy games in 2018. So maybe come back next year with a list of what you missed out on and let people vote then. Uh, this is in reference to the fact that Joel can't buy games in 2018 mm -hmm. and he was he made a video about should he buy and I have the, it. the 40th edition. I'm still like haven't bought a new game. You've committed. In 2018, I never. I don't even know what Spider-Man load screen looks like. I don't know. Do you know what Spider-Man looks like? I do know what Spider-Man looks like. Okay, then you're, you're fine then. And I don't know what Spider-Man's load looks you, like. You, but I know. It's like a web. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> So, like, I, there's a lot of games I haven't played, right? What was what's some other ones? Like, holy smokes. You didn't, did you go to war? Did someone buy that for you? Yes, I did get that so for my birthday. That. Okay. I still haven't played it. Oh, but okay. uh, I have but, it. All right. Um, not, not to derail here. Yeah, sorry. Let's move on. Because you know what we're all really here for. Yes. All right. We all want right. to see John's giant. Right. Well, I suppose it's that time, huh? It's that time. You okay. want me to pull it out? So, yeah, and I mean, uh, I know we had discussed this last time, is popping it out. You analyze it, and I'm really curious this week uh, to see. Oh, great! All right. Yeah, what, what your guesses are? Okay. Uh, okay, Dylan the villain. Oh, do we have a close up? Oh, here you go. Oh, you're gonna look like. Here, we'll, go, we'll hand it over there, and okay. you go a little bit closer. Uh, okay. This is clearly when you have found the uh, mystical monkey's paw, and you're gonna make a, a video game wish. Oh, well, yeah. Right, of any any type. But the 20th century monkey paw. Yeah, the 20th century's mon monkey's paw. What's your wish? Um, you, you clearly found it. That uh, Diablo would not make me sad anymore. <laughs> well, uh, it's too late for that. Um, no, so this is <laughs> we're, enough about Diablo. <laughs> I, I, I'm guessing it's a power glove for the N64. Kind of. It. Okay. It's Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet. It, it's, it's, uh, yeah, this actually was in the movie Infinity War that came out a couple months back. And uh, this, it's the same kind of concept as the Power Glove, except for there's no actual motion control to this. This is not a, a motion-activated device. Look at that. Uh, but there is a strap, so you can, you can put it on, and you can wear it. And I, you know it's crazy? Women love this thing. Just aesthetically. I mean, there's, there's no uh, function. Women <laughs> hate functionality of this thing because it's impractical, but they love the way it looks. All right. Like if you show up to like a formal ball. Is that ball, how you want Ariel's heart? Is yeah. that it, Ariel? I was uh, giving her a back massage with this and she was like, this is the yeah, best the rumble right pack hand on massage your life. of my life. Exactly, yeah, I turned on Star Fox and just kept driving <laughs> into a building. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, but it's, what I mean. In the world that is so impractical. It is, because it, it's not motion. Um, you've got a little D-pad. It's, it's, right? it's an early guy, prototype right? of the Wiimote. Like you're that lazy, you just want to play like this. I mean, more or less, yeah, like you're one-handed and good to go. Um, yeah, it's not really a practical device, but it's kind of fun just because it's so impractical. You've got all your buttons on the, uh, the face I, right I just want here. somebody to show up with two of those to a Smash tournament. I'd well, be I, terrified. I agree. 
I agree. Wouldn't you? Yes, absolutely. I would try to shake their hand, but they would kill me. Right. So, um, yeah, I mean, as, as you can see, it's a, the, the, the Rumble Pack is in the palm. <laughs> Nothing about this actually made any sort of sense. They were like, can you put something together over the weekend that we'll, we can pretend to sell? And then they did it. It's, it's not. What's it called? Um, For the folks at reality home. Reality. Uh, check or something. It's got a weird name. Reality Quest. Reality Quest. Reality there Quest. Reality go. Check. But the, like the, go, the glove. Actually, that's the company. Get on eBay this. now. This thing's literally just called the glove. Once Sudan sees this. Once Sudan is out here, nuts. Yeah, exactly. So you gotta, yeah, they're gonna get go on to eBay Dubai right searching now. for a warehouse full of unopened ones. All right. Are so, you ready? What's next? That's it. All, All right. right. So good guess. The monkey paw. Oh, this is so cool. Should I should I take the cable off? Maybe. Uh, uh, maybe well, I'll I'll do this one first and take the cable off while you're talking about this one. Okay. Well, all right. What's up to you? Uh, wow. Okay. Here uh, it is. All right, Dylan. Um. So clearly, this is uh. Uh. This is the secret government red button. That, uh, <laughs> exactly. It, it normally is in the White House. They don't really depict what it does. <laughs> But they've never pushed it before, so they're not sure. Well, they disguise it because it says right. track and field in the front, so somebody walks by and goes, ah, whatever, I don't, you know. But then the, the, the right man for the job walks by, right. uh, you know, Harry Truman or whatever, and he goes, bink, and that's it. Right. Yeah, it's dangerous. And you don't stuff. know what it does, but nobody has ever pushed it before until now, but good thing it wasn't plugged in. Well, it's cool because like, even if you're like nuking a country, you can also jump and throw. There's an actual functionality uh, popped in here. This is a track and field <laughs> controller. It's, yeah, it's two. Twofold um, for the Atari. There's a. I wasn't even aware track and field was on the Atari. You know, and I wasn't either until I saw this thing. That's I played crazy. the NES version, yeah. and it's not just a downscaled port. Um, I you don't even remember what version of the Atari. Probably the 7800 because it looked, the graphics look pretty good, um, or the 7600. But uh, it's got your run buttons, and your jump button, and so that you get like the arcadey type of feel, without uh, you know being in the arcade. You're at home in the comfort of your own living room. Uh, you know, I got all my button mashing skills for track and field, too. That, that makes that's sense. Where that's I where I learned. The, that that's has to I be like the, one of the least yep, ergonomic on. controllers and I've ever be, seen. Between, no, yeah. Well, you know, like, it works. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the function yeah. is just to run. So. How rare is that? Uh, 30 bucks rare. It's not super. Uh, these are pretty uncommon to see, but they don't have a huge value to them. It's a nice Did you just like too. leave it on the table and then just use your index? So that, I mean, yeah, ideally, so that you can do yeah. it extra fast. Right, exactly. Yeah. Or if you're Joel or I, yeah. you do do the, the single finger method because that's You have a quite the talent <laughs> of pushing buttons. Not as not like making you angry. I've never made I've never met someone who comes close to my skill. That's true. Joel and I are actually neck and neck and he slightly edged me out and uh but no we actually have a game where you can yep. Push it, and yep. how many hundreds per second you do? It. Okay, well we're gonna have to do a stream or something. <laughs> oh, of that. it's, it's sure. insane! Like, yeah, other people don't even come close to what me and John. Can push. <laughs> we'll do it sometime. It's I bet. Crazy. I bet you'd be surprised. Oh it's, really? I mean, you want yeah, a challenge, it's a, boy? It's a competition. Because we're looking at these challenges. I mean, us, twelve to thirteen a second. That's what we're averaging, which is oh, easy. was that what it was? Yeah, and sixteen a second is sort of like what like the goal is, but oh, oh easy. Okay, so right now, I'm kind of excited for this. Down here, I'm playing <laughs> right. with John's joystick. Oh, and dude. this thing <laughs> is awesome. This is awesome. Look at that thing. Yeah. Get a close up of that. I'm sure you already know what that so, is, Dylan. Well, this actually got brought to me by my future self. Right. Um, and he just warned me that if I ever held this device, that this would probably be the worst day of my life. So yeah, you get I'm kind of terrified to be holding this right now. It goes now. Hand, hand, hand in hand with the, the nuke button over there. There you go. So yeah, this Cyberdyne is... Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. Right. Cyberdyne Systems. Um, it's the new model of... Uh, uh, they, they wanted to humanize... What's her name? Alexa. So. Oh, this is, this is Alexa yeah. with her, her flesh boiled off. Yeah. So what's cool about this is uh, this actually comes from a company called Cheetah, and they did a, a variety of character joysticks um, for different systems. Genesis, Nintendo, uh, I think Atari as well, too. Uh, they happen to have this cool Terminator one. I think it even has some turbo it's button so pretty, dude. functionality. Yeah, it's rad. It's a, just a T800 head. And uh, it's not terribly comfortable. And um, it has suction cups. So you can like pop it onto a table or something. And that way it doesn't move around because you've got your buttons on opposite sides of the, uh, the device. Um, I mean, 
it's it's good because it's tough. that they kept it based in reality and kept it from moving because it might actually if it come becomes to life. sentient. Yeah, then, then it can't move. Controller, yeah, you're stuck to the, yeah, the suction cups. Keep exactly. us all safe. Put on your window, and the Terminator can do nothing. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yes. Next up. There it is. Let's go. Why did Why did Arnold not Boom. think of that? Oh, there's a second part to this. Oh, there is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it this thing? It. Uh, is it like yep. The ultrasound. Oh, that's awesome. correct. The number one selling. Oh, this part separate. This part. There we go. This clearly looks like the number one Oil selling alert. gaming peripheral for the PC. Oh, the yeah. hottest thing on the market right now. So. <laughs> the mouse pad. <laughs> the mouse pad. One in every home by the year 2020. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they nailed that. How cool. Okay. So I mean, what is, what is this? Some sort of like armrest <laughs> for this is like a very tiny armed person. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's a, it's a writing tablet. Is this um, so I don't hurt myself while? <laughs> oh, it's a safety <laughs> mouse pad. Yeah, it's padded. If there's a close up, you clearly. Oh, the put wrist your guard. Wrist here. Yeah, oh, yeah it's the exactly, wrist guard. exactly. So you can lean on it and like look really cool, like you're paying attention in class. Uh, so no, this is actually a PlayStation Two. Uh, this looks like a lot like a nunchuck, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. Like yes. Uh, yes, and uh, so this came out from uh, Splitfish, and it's essentially like a first-person shooter setup for your PS2, which is kind of ahead of its time. Problem is it doesn't work as well as you would like it to, but at least they tried, and I always give companies credit for trying even if success is not met. Right. Uh, so, I mean, essentially, you've got your, your, you know, your normal face buttons on the front. Um, I can't remember what they're mapped to. You have your L and R, or L buttons up here. I think these might be the R buttons. And uh, start, select, you can adjust the sensitivity on the side here. But you pop this into your PS2, and you can play like uh, black or time splitters or whatever it is. Um, and pretend it's as efficient as a PC, but you have to pretend a lot. And so, what about this right here? Oh, this one's nice. Check this out. Uh, I think my grandma has this attached to her chair. Hop around? <laughs> no, it's like it's like one of those chairs that helps you stand up. Your, uh, yes. So you press this, and oh, then it kind of like uh, oh, it's good and it makes you, and it makes oh, you stand yeah. up properly. So uh, yeah. So I took That's this exactly so she, what it is. So she can yeah. no longer stand up, but I can play video games. Right. Okay. So it's, 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 a, it's a fair trade, I promise you. Um, another weird NES, I'm a sucker for like strange controllers, and this is absolutely one of my favorites because uh, it looks terrible. It looks like a Tide watch. It, I, it, it kind of, yeah. Stopwatch. It is, like, yeah, yeah exactly. You're, uh, but it works enough to make it worthwhile. So this is the D-pad right down here. Uh, I believe this is B, what and I think this is A. At? This is classic NES. Okay. And so I, I, I tested this out of the store, and you can actually, I played through Mario just fine. So you kind of hold it like a stopwatch, hold your B button, you jump with the A button, and you left and right. Uh, uh, and it's works. silly, and it's kind of weird, but it's fun, because it's totally unconventional. I don't know why somebody invented this, but they did, and good on them, because it's not, not fun to use. It's fun to like hook it up at your store and mm -hmm. go, hey, if you can beat Mario without yeah. dying using this, you get 10% off your order. So I think, yeah, what, what makes sense about something like this is you're so familiar with using a game and playing it conventionally yeah, that mixing it up like it this hard. is a cool kind of challenge because it's like, how good are you really? Right. You know, are you conditionally good or are you universally good? And so it's fun to try weird junk like this and uh, see if you dig it. All right, last thing, guys, here. Oh, this is a good one. For John's junk. Yeah. It makes me happy to always see the logo that exactly. I see. Exactly, that's actually why I brought this one. I had so, that in mind. There we go. Okay. Your briefcase, sir. Okay, this is my briefcase. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> is yeah. this a... Uh, Fisher Price and Sega. Right. Had a baby. Right. They, they did. <laughs> yep. What, what do we got? What do we got here, Dylan? Two bottles of wine. What is that? What is that? Yeah. It looks like a, like a kid's toy, yeah. What is it, John? It's a kid's toy. Like from Taco Bell or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does have kind of a Taco Bell like Southwestern kind of flair to it. All right. This um, is wild. This is, I've never this seen is this. This is a Taco Bell grand, grand, yeah, so grand prize from 1997. This is, this is one of the weird ones. Let me see if it's going to be cooperative. There we go. Okay. So this is the what? Sega Pico. And what this is, it's an interactive video game device meant for children. Uh, but what's cool about this and... To me, this is one of those things, uh, kind of like that little IR thing I showed you guys a couple weeks back. Uh, it was just one of those weird devices that they tried out, and when you plug it into the screen, um, it will mirror sort of what you have open uh, page-wise. And you can use this pen, and uh, I, this technology, I feel this is mid-90s, I think? Um, 
and you can interact with these things, and uh, whatever you do on here will correspond with what's happening on screen. And some of these are going to be different activities, and the screen will display certain things, like, hey, touch the ball. And you go boom, and you know it identifies it, it for you. Does it make a little sound? Yeah, a little music, a little you, you celebratory remember that things. Show with the B pen? The B? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I remember uh, Bill Cosby's. Um, yeah, yeah, Bill Cosby. Like, his little pen, the armor. Let's find the roofie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find it. It's, and he would do it, and he'd make that. Um, yeah, yeah, and I made a cool it little like noise. That? I'm gonna tell you a horror story about that. It's not really a horror story, it's just a sad story, is that I ordered one of those pens when I was like four years old, and it never came. Really? My mom paid for it, and it just never showed up. He took your money. He <laughs> took my money, and he, he used it for odious purposes. He took a purposes. lot of things in life. Well, yeah, he, unfortunately. Sometimes without asking. I you often, know? right. So it's like, it was, yeah, continue. we willingly gave him our money for the pen. Because I wanted the pen to make like the cool noise. Yeah, like, he that drew, was a like, cool pen, man. I was just doing his, drawing a straight line, you know, but it made it a neat... Anyway, so <laughs> the, the Pico, I think there were actually a couple other application books that you could buy for this thing. Uh, so that way you could you could do, you know, Richard Scarry's, find the red cake, find the brown cake or whatever. Um, but Good they had, job. Uh, thank you. Does yeah. that work? Uh, well, it just did. I found them. <laughs> They're, yeah, they're right there, respectively. Can you find <laughs> this looks like alcohol. the it pink looks, cake? The pink cake. No. Like if you plug Sorry. it in, it doesn't you go back if you, to Yeah, though this actually basics. is, uh, it is functional. Next time you bring in your junk, make sure it's energized. Well, I mean, uh, you need to hook this up to a TV. Because oh, you hook it up to a TV and it corresponds out. with what's going on here, displays on the TV, and the TV will display... It to another level, That's bro. what's crazy. No, this thing is it's I, Sega, actually dude. ahead of its time. This thing is Sega, totally man. cool. Yeah. Is that a pretzel or a skeleton that's on the wall? Um, right skeleton there. Skeleton of a pretzel. Oh, that's a, that's a pelvis, yeah. <laughs> a pelvis. And there's the spine. It looks, what looks to be a, a regular bakery. <laughs> right, exactly. Has other sinister things. I mean, what do pigs bake? If we, like, you know, cook pigs in an oven, what do pigs bake in their bakery? Right. Yeah. I mean. Humans in a blanket. <laughs> correctly, yeah. What do they right. really teach you? Put you in a sleeping bag and then just roast you. 1994? 1994. Right on. Yeah, so neat little device, uh, made, made for kids, but also one of those kinds of things that just, it's really neat to see uh, technology being attempted at and the time. And Sega doing something And Sega, crazy, they were man. always like trying Sega, stuff, dude. and you know, even if it didn't succeed, I always applaud uh, a failed attempt. That's why Sega's the best, man. You know, you have to pave the way somehow. So yeah, this is uh, the Pico, one of my favorite little pieces of weird junk we had laying around. And uh, it's colorful and weird and Taco Bell themed, so that's kind of neat. Delicious. Now I'm hungry. It's actually delicious, yeah. Well, John, again, thank you for showing the world your junk once again and being so open and just willing to just Dude, put it all out it's, there. I it's appreciate my pleasure. That. It's fun. You guys should leave us a comment below of yeah. what's your wish of the, uh, what is that? N64 Monkey's Paw. Well, oh, yeah, what is your wish? What do you wish for? Because this will grant yeah. it. Yeah. I also want to know what your favorite uh, piece of junk is. Sure, I'll be up to this point or today? No, right now, in this episode. Right in this episode, okay. Yeah. Cool. What yeah. part of John's junk did you like Every the most? episode, what's the best junk? So. What's the best junk that we got? Awesome, guys. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, thanks for being on the show again, yeah. as always. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button, guys. And I hope you have a happy holiday. Happy holidays. It's Christmas time. It is. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends, man. Enjoy your freedom. Yeah, you know, put the controller down, right? For, yeah, go for, outside for, for a little bit. Throw go, a snowball. You, you know, you know yeah. scoop up some dirt if you're in New Mexico. Yeah, you throw yeah. some dust at your loved Throw some dust ones. at your friend, yeah, if you're in oh, New Mexico. Your little sister. Just, real quick. Yeah. Shout out to my mom. Oh, Thanks, mom. Man. Yeah. oh yeah. Happy, yeah. happy, Merry Christmas, She's mom. responsible for this. I have to do that now, because my mom watches the show. She'll be like, well, oh. freaking Dylan did it. Yeah. <laughs> why, why didn't you do it? Exactly. Get Merry the, Christmas, Mom. Out. Yeah. Appreciate you. She's actually like the only person that watches this. <laughs> <That was, laughs> so. Thanks, Joel's Mom. All right, man. We'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. I just want to take a minute and thank you for watching that video. We really appreciate it here. I just want to thank all you guys for the support that you have given this channel. And I also want to thank our Patreon people. Uh, special thanks to them for helping us get some of the items that we have on our sets and things like that. We really, really appreciate you guys. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And there's some videos up here. Maybe you guys want to uh, click on one of those to see what else we have in our library, our video library. And also, 
also, I just want to say, please share this content uh, on social media. Get the word out there. We just want Media Glitch to grow so we can get, do bigger and better things. And again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. We appreciate it here. Uh, I'm speaking on behalf of all the staff of Media Glitch. We'll see you guys.